morning, this is Lainey from Fine and Dandy Aussie Doodles. Um, this morning we are going to talk about being courteous hiking dogs. As you see, I don't have them on leash because I start early in the morning before there's a lot of people. And I let them kind of free roam, but they do stay on path. So we're going to kind of show you how they hike and also what they do when other hikers approach what I've trained them to do. So hang with us. Also when they get ahead of me, I know everybody likes dogs on leash, but that's why I come out in the desert when we're alone. But when I'm going around a corner in a blind spot, I don't know if there's a hiker around the corner. And so when they're going around the corner and over there they are, I will call them back so they don't run into anybody. Heel up! Heel up! Okay, and the other thing is, I do use a remote, um, but they're all sound activated. Originally when we started, um, it took about three days of vibration and sound, but they're all on a sound caller, so all I have to do is beep them. If they don't take my voice command, then they get a beep, which makes a sound, and they'll come back. This has a half mile radius. I never let them go that far, but the sound it does help, because sometimes if they're on track for a rabbit or something they really like, I can just sound activate them and they'll come right back. So one thing that I've learned in hiking with my dogs is sometimes I have to be responsible. So when I'm hiking with people and I get talking, if I'm not aware of what my dogs are doing, I may miss something like an oncoming hiker. And so really a lot of it depends on me. So always keep an eye on what your dog's doing, what they're looking at, if they see a rabbit, if they see a person. Um, and if you're with a group, don't get distracted. Just always kind of keep an eye on them. There's been a few times when I've been surprised by a hiker because I wasn't paying attention. So really it's on me, it's on the owner. So always, no matter who you're with, always have that second eye on your dog and what your dog is doing. So sometimes when I'm hiking, my dogs get underfoot and I'm worried they're gonna trip me. And so I've trained them, if there's no hikers ahead of me, a little trick. So we're gonna do that. Okay, ready? On your marker set, go. 